What's up everybody? Just doing a, another pickup video of a couple things I've accumulated within the past uh, two, three weeks. Today I went to the Goodwill next to us and found uh, Champions of Norath Return to Arms. I guess this is the second one, I assume. I remember playing uh, Champions of Norath first. Uh, I got really hooked in it. But unfortunately, I screwed up and erased the memory card. Because I think you can uh, transport uh, your characters from one game to the other. I think. So, yeah. And uh, it was $6.99. Uh, they had a sticker deal going on, so it was half off. So I was happy with that. And uh, not really game-oriented, but I uh, found two pretty cool books there. One of my favorite shows uh, is uh, Red Dwarf. And this is Red Dwarf, the least worst scripts, Primordial Soup. And then also uh, Robotech, with three of the episodes on it, um, Southern Cross, Metal Fire, and The Final Nightmare. These were both a dollar. Then uh, we went to the flea market, and I ended up getting Breath of Fire. Never played this game before. I heard decent reviews about it. I spent a little bit too much on it, but I had credit there, and I didn't see anything else I really liked. This was 20 uh, found just virtual tennis uh, for the Dreamcast. This was a dollar. And then this, I was uh, kind of confused of what this is because I actually have Metal Gear Solid on the PS1, but this is in a uh, PS2 sleeve. After doing looking up uh, some information on it, I found out it was like a box set they had for the PlayStation 2. But it's in mint condition, so it's kind of a cool find. This was uh, $4.00. Then, uh, a friend of uh, mine, Matt, and I just recently went to see a guy who's selling thousands and thousands of games and consoles. He literally has everything there. Um, I wish I had more money, but I finally ended up getting a Mega Man game. Uh, the only other Mega Man game I have was uh, Mega Man Zero Two, which I really enjoyed. And uh, so I got this Mega Man Two. It was t ten. I think I got this for 10 or 12. We did a, a, a lump deal, so I was happy to get this. Finally, get a Mega Man uh, game for my collection. I always remember this being pretty tough as a kid, and um, I thought it was actually pretty easy. I'm, uh, after playing this for a day, I pretty much breezed through it, and I'm at uh, Wiley's uh, headquarters trying to defeat him. So, But I haven't finished the first stage yet. But anyways, got that. And then uh, Ape and Eric was doing a review on Gremlins 2, and I heard Billy from the Game Chasers, everyone was talking great about this game, and so I had to get it. I could not find it anywhere, but this guy had it, amongst thousands of other things. Uh, Gremlins 2, I ended up getting this for $5. And then he also had a couple Sega Saturn games there. Uh, one of the games I really wanted was uh, Panzer Dragoon's Vi. He had that going for 30. I'm hoping to get it down. But anyways, I uh, ended up getting Arabian Nights, or excuse me, Nights into Dreams. What a weird game. Uh, I only played it a little bit yesterday, and I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing. This is really good. Um, yeah, just really weird. I, 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 I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I've heard great reviews, so I, I just got to read the directions and figure out what's going on. And also, uh, since we bought so much stuff from the guy, um, also my friend, the video of us, you know, talking about what we got is Ernie M, E-A-R-N-E-Y-M on YouTube. Uh, we're also starting a uh, Facebook page, Southwest Florida Gamers, S-W-F-L Gamers. On Facebook, so we want to get a little bit of a community going in our area. So if anyone's interested, check that out. It's in its infancy, so we're trying to build on that. But anyways, uh, the guy who was selling all the games just said, Hey, do you guys want some plug-and-plays? And I didn't even know really what was in it. It was just in a bag. I'm like, yeah, if you want to get, you know. Uh, Metal Jesus, I guess, did uh, a little collect vid, I think, on some of this. And I'm starting to kind of get into uh, collecting these. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, Atari has them in television. But anyways, uh, got two handhelds, uh, Jeopardy, and an old uh, Trivial Pursuit, um, The Best of Genius. It's kind of a fun game to play. Um, Pinball Classic Arcade. Wheel of Fortune. 
EA Sports. And then uh, I got this weird one. It's a Panasonic plug and play, but I think something's missing because the AV cables, I don't know. They don't, I'm no electronic genius, but these do not fit in any TV. So my brother's trying to figure out what to do about that. We gotta get some adapters or whatnot. So yeah, so that's that. And then for the uh, piece of resistance, um, a friend, uh, a fellow YouTuber, a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Chocolate Giddy Up, I saw on one of his collection vids and he had this weird game and I questioned about it and he said, well, hey, if you want it, I'll send it to you and, you know, do a review on it, which will be the next vid, is this Power Joy cart. Um, looks like a Famicom when I initially saw it. I tried to play it when I got it. I got all excited, put it in, and uh, it did not work. I did... Um, some research on it and this is actually comes with its own console a power joy console which looks like a n64 controller and then it's you know you plug in your tv and then it has a cartridge slot where you know you plug these in but uh i brought it to a buddy of mine because it wasn't working uh my famicom converter was not it just didn't work couldn't figure out what was going on it had a uh, burnt resistor i guess so I had to fix that, clean it up, blah, blah, blah. Well, anyways, uh, I popped it back in again, and bam, it worked. And I was real excited because I really dig these uh, Pirate Carts. I have one also already. Um, that one's 54 and one but this is even better. This is 84 and one and uh, the next vid will show this. So hopefully that'll be on tonight as well. So anyways, uh, yeah, thanks again, Mr. Truck Giddy Up, Steve. I really appreciate it, and yeah, the vid will be up tonight, so uh, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Any last words, Blade? All right, take it easy.